Did you know that by not washing your wooden utensils, your wooden cutlery in the kitchen, you might be consuming a lot of bacteria like salmonella, which is so bad for your health. So by not washing them frequently and in the best way possible, you guys might be consumed by bacteria which tamper with your health. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to wash, disinfect, and maintain your kitchen wares so that they can serve you for the longest way possible. So stay tuned, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. So all you're gonna need is half a lemon, your wooden stuff, the kitchen towel, kitchen tissue, and bicarbonate soda, and also some hot water. So what you want to do is just soak your wooden spoons in the very hot water for like 5 to 10 minutes. Let it just dissolve and let it be submerged in the water so that all the oils and all the bacteria can be removed from the spoons. Now that we've soaked our spoons, we let them stay there for like 5 to 10 minutes. Then you're going to notice how the water is going to change. Soaking them into the hot water enables the oil that has been stuck in the spoons to get out of the spoons. Also, comment after every use, you are supposed to like at least weekly submerge them into the water but for the chopping board i'm going to show you how you have how you're supposed to wash it so advice that you get a chopping board for everything that you cut in the kitchen say you, you have to get a kitchen board for your meat for your fruits like every single thing that's cut in the kitchen you have to get their own separate chopping boards and for that reason we have to go to Konkunji with you so that i can pick some chopping boards so that i stop sharing this one but for those one like me for now who are sharing a single chopping board this is what you do after every usage of that chopping board this is what you do just want to take your soap dish your washing stuff and then you just want to go all round and wash it thoroughly and make sure that you wash it like all sides make sure you meet all the corners all the sides and people avoid the other side but you forget that when you wash the upper side and rinse it this thing is wood and it absorbs lots of water so you just want to wash the upper face and also the other side as well and just uh, go ahead and after you make sure you have cleaned it as per required and that it's clean you just want to rinse it off with some warm water then it's for it's ready for the next use now you can just reuse it again and guys after rinsing it off never leave this chopping board wet okay after you've just washed it rinse it just make sure you wipe it off with your kitchen towel just don't eat to have any waters rinse it then dry it up with either your kitchen towel or your kitchen tissues okay and then you can now use it you want to disinfect it to deep clean it okay all you're going to need is a lemon half a lemon or full of it and then you're gonna need bicarbonate soda so you just want to apply your bicarbonate soda on top of your chopping board just make sure you apply quite a lot of it then you're going to go in with your lemon and just rub it off and you'll notice that i'll not only be scratching it I'll be pressing the lemon oil, like I'll be squeezing the lemon oil, washing them with the bicarbonate soda. And you make sure you do this throughout the chopping board, like you want to do the same in all parts of that chopping board. Because remember you are disinfecting it. If you disinfect one side, you leave the other one, then it means you've done nothing. So just make sure you do the same to all the sides of that chopping board. And remember you are doing this until you achieve your desired outcome so make sure to do this over and over again
after you're done you're just going to go in with very hot water just pour it all through the chopping board don't use the cold water use the hot water that you already boiled and just pour it all through the chopping board then you're going to just pat it dry never ever leave your chopping board wet ever make sure to just pat it down with either your kitchen tissues or your kitchen towel till it's dry okay There is our chopping board very clean, disinfected and ready to use, okay? After 10 minutes of submerging these spoons in very hot water, I wish you guys could see the amount of oil that came out of these spoons yet they were already clean. Like you can tell the color of the water is even changed. It's no longer its original color. It's brownish and that's the amount of tartiness and amount of oil that has just come out of those spoons. Yeah. So what you just want to do is just remove them from this water and discard the water. Then you're going to rinse them off with some very warm water. Yeah. Not cold water. Just rinse them with some warm water and then as we said and as we did to the chopping board pat them dry never ever leave your spoons with any water yeah after disinfecting them washing them and doing all those things you just want to wipe them dry and then they're ready for your maintenance phase and then they'll be ready to be used you've already washed and disinfected your wooden kitchenware one i want to show you how you maintain your wooden kitchenware I want to look for your cooking oil or your vegetable oil of which vegetable oil is highly recommended and apply to all your wooden kitchenware and then they're ready for use so as for me i'm going to use the extra virgin oil i'm going to just apply it on them and then they're ready to use so let's go vegetable oils give them that little shine today guys i hope you really maintain your wooden kitchenware i hope you just wash them at least make it a habit of deep cleaning them every other weekend before starting a new week if you've not subscribed make sure you subscribe like comment share see you on the next one